All right, fantastic guys. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome to uh, Offside with Olade Ken Fisher. And of course, uh, currently um, right there at the Adama Simba Stadium complex at the home ground of the 3SC Football Club of Ibadan. And of course, it's a pleasure. To, uh, I have a great opportunity to be with the team manager of 3SC. I would like him to introduce himself. Uh, boss, uh, a good day to you and how are you doing, sir? Uh, good day, my friend. And um, it's nice at home, wherever you are. My name is Radu Nawa. All right, uh, Mr. Lawa, it's a uh, pleasure to speak with you on this very platform. I want to just also ask, it was a very heartbreaking one for 3SC, got relegated last season. And then how did you feel where that 3SC, the foremost club in Nigeria, far back as 1982, they have a very deep history as far as, uh, you know, African continent is concerned. But now, fast forward to 2017, 18, they are playing in the lower division. How do you feel, sir? Uh, well, uh, it was sad. Uh, we didn't feel uh, good at all with that. Uh, but in football, uh, everything is possible. Uh, it was very unfortunate that uh, we were in the last year. But we put in everything uh, into place to make sure that at the end of this coming season in the NNL, we put it back to where we love the partnership. All right, good one. Uh, I've been able to follow the activities of 3SC in the last uh, few weeks. I know there was a meeting I was had somewhere with uh, the Badon City Polytechnic where some things was discussed about how to motivate the players. Can you just, uh, you know, give us more light on uh, what the whole process is all about? Uh, well, the whole process is um, about the City uh, Polytechnic trying to partner with us. You know? It's a school that, uh, you know, is uh, situated in Badon. And for that, we felt and we should have some contributions into supporting the club. It should not be left to the government to do it. It is the meaning. And yeah, we appreciate that. We're looking for more support like that. And um, you know, when we start having people coming close to, to assist the club, that will change our activities, that will, you know, propel us to do more. And then, you know, um, you, you don't want to disappoint the people that are supporting you. And then that is, you know, making us to work harder so that at the end of the season, we'll be able to shout hallelujah. Yeah, I was aware that some cash prices were announced for matches won, so, you know, just to boost the player morale, you know, or, you know, some particular cash, you know. I don't know if you can give us details. Uh, well, I don't have the full details now, but I know some uh, prices were lined out. Like uh, I think uh, we have two hundred thousand for five clean sheets for goalkeepers, oh, wow, which is a very good um, motivation yeah, course, very for the keepers. Yeah, I think um, if we go five games on beating, there are some money also that are going to be given to the team. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a big motivation for the guys to do well and uh, you know to really work hard. And uh, talk about the NLL. It's, it's like a dungeon place. No club in Nigeria want to play in NLL. How is it like? Look at Southwest, Crown FC, Oshu United, and some other big club where you go to uh, Open City as well. You have Raymond Stars, you know, you have Gateway. You have Gateway. These are teams that are stationary, stationary stores. What's the Korobi United. United? You know, it's like, you know, and Hope it has. What's the chances of 3SC making it, you know, to the top flight? You see, our chances are based on the job we are doing. Mm. Like I said, we are working hard. Uh, we have the talent that can do it. Mm. We have the very good coaches that um, they have, you know, tasted this division before. They have worked in this division before. And I remember when we got promoted from this NML about two, three, about three seasons ago. So it was the coach that was assisting the technical advisor then, was now the chief coach. So he's gotten uh, experience. Yeah, the coach, right? Yeah, uh, uh, my name is um, Edith Agoye. Edith Agoye, yeah, yes. coach Edith Agoye. Yeah, yeah. He was returned when we got promoted in three seasons ago. And then now he's the head of the technical group. So he's doing a very great job and he's putting all his all the experiences he has he's acquired uh, a few years back he's putting it to work now I'm, I'm very positive i don't have any doubt that at the end of the season we'll be promoted well normally i can't but agree much because as someone who grew up in the asian city of Bada, i would love to see my own time team played in not in at least calf confederation cup and we can do greater things in champions but quickly i just want to rub this in what is this stuff about uh Fale? transfer saga there's a lot going about it i know you may not want to say but i just want to, for the benefit of the business because i've had we've had so many interviews Fale has granted you know what is actually the real picture of it uh, well let Fale continue to grant interviews uh what i know is Fale is a bona fide uh, player of shooting stars but when you say bona fide player well, what do you mean was it was that a contract was it signed uh did it uh, is, that, is it that uh, they have sconded or or, or, or or what have like you like you said i'm not mandated to talk about failure much but i'm a, if you want to find out anything about failure you can contact the lmc contact the nff and you see what failure is signed as a player for the team 
That is it. I, of course, I understand. But, you know, there is this talk about um, shooting said he signed a deal. But, uh, but there is this uh, angle I was like, when the deal was signed, was there an obligation? Because about uh, two, I know of an academy in Lagos who also claiming ownership to Fale here. And then the whole thing seems to be messed up here. How do you claim ownership on a player that is not the same? Uh, every other uh, Cashwood clubs can come around and say this player belongs to me, that player belongs to me. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't want to talk much about yeah. Fale. I'm not in the position to show. But if you want to know the facts about Fale, check with the LMC. Well, the case is very much with the LMC, and we just hope that the uh, the team of Fale and Shooting Star will come to resolve this in time. So, you know, the guy did very well at the Chan, far back in Morocco, and we want to see him doing well, you know. His career progress. Abbas, uh, the team manager, thank you so much if for. If Fale had not been given the platform to do well and be seen at the national level, eh? would Fale here yeah, of today still be playing in Ajegule and will be, be playing in the Spiders? Huh? But I don't know if I can rub this inside. Yeah. If he said that uh, what he signed with CSC is just a loan deal, and if you are signing a loan deal, that means uh, I said check with the LMC. Is there a loan deal between a boys club and a and uh, uh, a team in uh, the Premier Division. Yeah. Check with the LMC, mm, please. Mm, mm. All right, thank you so much, uh, the team manager. Mm. So, what, any other word for the fans of 3SC? I'm just going to reassure our fans that come this season, uh, we're going to play good football. They are going to enjoy uh, our. Uh, they are just going to enjoy our games. And um, not only that, at the end of the season, you know, we shall all be shouting hallelujah to God for getting promoted back. Yeah. Once again, please, I want you to introduce yourself to the list, Nasatun, so that they will know. Okay, like I introduced myself earlier on, uh, my name is Solad Mijilawal. I am the team manager of the Shooters. Ah, Solad Mijilawal, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you very much.